Hi everyone, my name is Huang Qiang. I'm a research fellow at the National University of Singapore. Today I will present our work entitled Point to Hyperplane Nearest Neighbor Search Beyond the Unique Hypersphere. It is a dry walk with Dr. Lei Fan and Dr. Anthony Tang. Our source code is available from this link. We first formalize this problem. Given a database of n data point and a hyperplane query queue, the point to hyperplane nearest neighbor search aims to find the data point P star, which is closest to the hyperplane query queue. For example, consider the figure on the right. There are three data points P1, P2, and P3 on a 2D plane. And there is this a blue line, which can be considered as a hyperplane curve. As you can see, the data point P1 is the data point closest to the hyperplane curve Q. So P1 is the data point P star we aim to find for the point to hyperplane and then search. This problem is more difficult than the classic point to point and then search based on two aspects. First, the data points and the queries are not in the same dimension. Second, the point to high plane distance is not a metric. So traditional method with the metric property may be not suitable for this problem. This problem has a wide application in many machine learning and data mining tasks. In the literature, there exist many high plane hashing schemes for this problem. This, there are, this method assumes all the data points are on the unique hypersphere, for example, the L2 norm of all the data point P are all normalized to one, so that the point to high plane distance can be transformed into the angular distance. And then they could design different locality density hashing function to achieve subordinate time for the point to high plane and then search. However, the unique hypersphere assumption is a very strong assumption in the application such as a clustering and dimensionality reduction this assumption may be not satisfied. But if without this assumption, this method may be arbitrarily bad. What's worse, if the point to high plane distance is close to zero, this method requ will require big ON number of hash table and nearly linear query time. To the best of our knowledge, there is no subordinate time method for the point to high plane and then search beyond the unique hypersphere. On the other hand, for the problem of maximum inner product search, asymmetric transformation is a key to remove the unique hypersphere assumption. Similar to the point to high plane distance, the inner product is also not a metric, but this problem can be well sorted by the asymmetric transformation, asymmetric LSH in subordinate time. Their basic idea is to design asymmetric transformation P and Q for the data point O and the query Q so that they could convert this challenging maximum in the product search token into the classic point to point and then search token and never reach state of the R method for and then search in subordinate time to deal with the maximum in the product search. However, compared with the in the product, the point to high plane distance contain an extra absolute value operator. So existing asymmetric transformation for this problem cannot be directly used for the point to high plane and then search. So an interesting question is that, can we design a new asymmetric transformation for the point to high plane and then search? In this paper, we design a two-step asymmetric transformation for the point to high plane and then search. In step one, we design two object embedding function F and G to remove the impact of the absolute value operator. In step two, we designed two hypersphere transformation P and Q to remove the unique hypersphere assumption. With this two-step asymmetric transformation, we can convert the point to high plane and then search into the classic point to point and then search. After that, we designed, we developed two hyperplane hashing schemes, NH and FH. We demonstrate that their hash family is our locality sensitive to the hyperplane query and we also show that both methods enjoy quality guarantee. Extensive experiment over five real life data sets demonstrate the superior performance of NH and FH. Please refer to our paper to see more details about the method and the experiment. I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.